So welcome everyone to today's Lunch and Learn. My name is Karen Shannon. I'm an IT consultant and part of the Code of Bears team. I'll be presenting today on using price lists and discount price lists. So you might already know some things about pricing and price lists, but today I'll show the basics and how to use and connect different types of price lists to customers and groups and price groups. So on this slide, we show the general areas that will be covered in the presentation today. Following slides, we'll go into each of these topics in more detail. We'll talk about the price list hierarchies, price groups, price lists themselves, connecting the price lists. We'll show some example sales orders and how to import and export price lists. So the price list hierarchies, if you set up several pricing options, price lists and price groups, keep in mind that there is a hierarchy that Epicor will follow. Any price list attached to customers, this is a single customer, bill to or ship to will include parts or product groups on the price list will be the first activated pricing. Otherwise, if no price list is found at that level, customer group level will be searched next. And if there is a price list there, that will be chosen. No pricing is found on these two options. The price group pricing for the product groups will be used. And then finally, a if none of these have price lists, then it uses the base price or what you have in part maintenance under sales unit of measure. Price groups, they can be set up in quote management or order management in the setup submenus. Um, they can have any name that you assign to them. You can choose any or all of the product groups to add to your price group and then the groups that you set up can be quantity based or value based or both. Once you have the selections made you will then need to add the details for the value breaks on the value breaks tab. Finally you need to make sure that parts in the part maintenance screen have the product groups assigned to them to utilize the price groups. So here's an example of a price group named Big Box. I've added the product groups for baskets and candy and costumes, each with different order value breaks. So you can see the order value breaks here. They get a discount of 5% for each order that's over 500, 10% for if it's over 1,000, etc. Here's another example of a price group named Ma and Pa. And here we just have one product group associated to Ma and Pa and then give them different um, order value breaks for discounts. And in this case, I've also checked both boxes to allow order-based quantity discounts and order-based value discounts. Setting up a price list, you can, be, you can link them to customers or customer groups. And in the customer details, you can put them under billing customer price list or discount price list or the ship to customer price list and discount price list. You can design different types of price lists. You could have a main standard retail price list, another price list that can be promotional, and a price list that can be seasonal. Um, if you attach a price list to a customer or customer group, when you create a new quote or sales order for that customer, the pricing will default in for each part on that price list or if there is no price list attached at that level but there is a price group or the product group that that part is in price will default in for the part otherwise the price from the part sales unit of measure defaults in for the part need to keep in mind that a start date is required for price list but an end date is optional here's an example of a bulk price list that has 11 parts listed in the price list. Some of the parts have quantity breaks for discount and then other parts have quantity breaks for unit price that they would get a re reduced unit of price for that quantity. The options for the, the types of price lists are discount or unit price and that option is shown here where you can type in or you can select discount or unit price here or both. Here's where you put in your start date and your name of your price list and a description is required. And as mentioned, the end date is not needed and the currency defaults but can be changed there. In addition, price lists can be set per part or per product group 
each having the options for discount percents or discounted unit prices. Connecting the price list. To apply price list to the customer bill to or ship to, you need to add the price list to the price list card or to the discount price list card and customer maintenance is shown here in the customer bill to. The customer ship to follows a similar process in grid for price lists. So this is the customer ECDA and um, the card for price lists and you can add a price list there just clicking the plus button in Kinetic to add a new price list. You do have to know the code for your price list. You can have multiple price lists or multiple discount price lists also. And um, they go in the order in which they're listed here. And you can move them up and down using the arrows. So here's an example of a sales order for a customer with a price list and a discount price list. So this is the part, the bunny eggs chick basket. And the base price in part maintenance is $15 in this um, sales unit of measure. And it's also the base price I put in the price list. The unit price is calculated by giving 5% off at the 200 quantity break equals 14.25, and that is the price list pricing. There's also the discount price list, which is given off the line total. So you multiply the quantity of 200 times the 14.25 gives you the 28.50, and then times 0.97 gives you 3% off. At, there's a different quantity break for the discount price list. Anything over 100 at the discount price gets a quantity break. There is no higher quantity break on the discount price list. And that gives you the total of 27.64. So here's an example of set, setting up the customer group to have um, a price list. It's similar to how you did on uh, customer build to or ship to. You need to add it to the price list card or the discount price list card in customer group here as shown. So here the group is the commercial group COMM and we have a separate price list card and a separate discount price list. And again you can add more than one and move them up and down as needed. The priority will be the top one listed, and then it can continue through if it doesn't find a part on that price list. It could go to the next price list, etc. <clears throat> An extra step that you need to do is to add the customer group to the customer itself so that it can use that customer group pricing. So here we show this customer Chicago lease is added to the commercial Price. So here's an example of a sales order for a customer group with a price list and a discount price list. So this customer has the um, group of commercial, as mentioned, and we put in the order quantity for this particular part, which is a bowl or bows, Easter bows. And the base price is 50 cents and the price list pricing is given off the unit price, you know, just like the other order. So it's actually shown as 48 cents, although the actual amount would be 0.475, but Epicor rounds the unit price, it seems. And there's also a discount price giving off the total, the line total of $96, and given 3% off would be, you know, multiplying it times 0.97 so that equals 93.12 this particular order also has sales tax so sales tax is added back in to give us a total price of 102.43 for this line item <clears throat> so here we have an example of uh, price groups and using price lists from price groups. Price group is set up as we have shown previously with order value breaks for specific product groups. Then one or more parts are created or modified to use one of the applicable product groups. If there are no 
price list or discount price list for the customer or customer group. A new sales order line for this part will use the price group discount percent for the order value break on the order. So here we can see we have the pink peeps part and we ordered 350 and there is no price list and there is no discount price list but there is a price group named big box so the base price is shown dollar fifty and that's what's shown as the unit price the part is on the, the product group for easter candy which is on the price group for big box so now big box multiplies 350 times the one 150 per unit and times 0.95 to give the 5% discount totals out to our 498.75 and the the quantity uh, break or the order value break that we had on that um, price group was $500 so as long as the 350 times 1 50 is more than $500, you get the discount here. You may have to save the line and make sure the checkbox on the header or summary tab is checked for automatically apply the discount for the order. Otherwise, if it's not on, not checked by default, you can try checking it and saving it, or you can use the actions menu item that also has that listed to automatically apply the discount for this order. If we have no price list for a part, it's not on a group, it's just a part here, and the, in part maintenance, the uh, sales unit price is $5.50. So this example part has no price list and it's not on a group. So here's an example of a sales order for a part with no price list. So you can see there's no price list, no discount price list, no price group, and the order quantity is 200 and the unit price is 550 and that multiplies out to the $1,100 total for this line. <clears throat> so to import or export your price list, you open your price list in the price list maintenance menu and you bring up the price list that you want to work with and then you have to go to the overflow menu here and either choose import or export depending on which one you're trying to do so you know the normal process might be to export your price list if you want to make some changes and then upload it you can export it and then import so when you um, choose export by default that'll be the option box shown here you do have to put in a file name and you should include um, .csv in your file name and then by default your file will go to your server epicor data users epicor location here you can see my file is out there when you plan to do your import you get the same criteria box but now the import uh, option is checked and you will use the little search button to browse to your location of the import file so I put a folder out there called import and then my file is in that import folder after I've changed it most of the time you want to accept the default formatting in other words the um, list delimiter delimiter date and um, number format there so another thing to know about your exported price list here's an example of the price list export we did to a csv file um, notice the file output by epicor does not include header columns i I suggest you import the same way when I tested with column headers the process error out stating input string was not in a correct format you'll want to leave your CSV file without headers most likely and um, you can you know change some of the prices if you want and then import your file without headers if you want to import a new file for example price list for new year you need to create the price list name without any parts first so that's what this bottom part shows this is the part that you would need to have um, for a new file you can you know have it named something else and starting a different date and in a different description etc thank you so much for everyone for joining us and i hope you have a great rest of your afternoon thank you everyone
Want more Coda Bears Lunch and Learn? Check out our channel for more videos or contact us on our website for registration information.